Welcome back to Rev Matches and another video. Today we're looking at our MG4 EV and we're going to do a Q&A. So we're going to do the most asked questions on our YouTube videos about the MG4 EV. So before we get to that, if you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe and like this video and let's get into it. So we're going to start with space in the back. Somebody asked on one of the earlier videos, how much room is there if you've got two child seats? So let's have a look. No, there is no way that you would get another person between these seats. You can see there, it's only a small space. Yes, there's a seat belt, there's no headrest, so it possibly wouldn't be safe anyway. But no, you couldn't even fit a small person in there, I'm afraid. So we've been asked uh, about interior quality of this car and we think it's put together really well. This car doesn't squeak or rattle in any way. Very firm. Uh, all the buttons are very tactile and clicky. They don't feel cheap. You know, the door pulls, the weight of the doors itself feel good. We think it's a very well put together car, this, and definitely worth uh, a look if you're interested in it. Okay, so next question. Does the car come with cables? Yes, it does comes with a cable in this bag here that comes when you collect the car um, does it have a 12 volt socket no it doesn't have a 12 volt socket in the boot and it but it does have a light it does have a light in there so we've been asked about the uh, passenger seat in the back here so there is three seat belts but there is only two headrests either side so that you might not consider this to be a true five seater as you wouldn't get the head restraint Question, does this car have rear passenger lights? The answer is no, it doesn't, unfortunately not. Question, does this car have alloy wheels? And the answer is yes, but they're behind these plastic aero covers. So if you were to remove the aero cover, then you'd have your alloy wheel behind there. So the aero cover just helps with the efficiency of the car and it's gonna help on your miles per kilowatt hour. Question, does this car have a USB port in the back? Yes, it does. Here it is. So it's been mentioned that there have been a few reports of oil leaks on these cars. We haven't had any issues like that. We've not picked up any kind of oil leak at all. Ours has been absolutely fine. So people have asked what it costs to charge this. Now this is the MG4 EV standard range and it, we come home, we plug it in, we use just a normal three pin plug in the garage with a long cable, plug it in overnight and we're charging it from roughly 20% to 100% and at our current price we're, it's costing us around £7.50 and I know this because we use a smart meter. So roughly £7.50 for a home charge using a three pin socket from your garage. So next question, do the standard seats have lumbar support? No, they don't. I don't personally find that a problem. I think these seats are quite comfortable, but then that is quite subjective. So can the car be fitted with roof bars? Well, let's see on the top of this car, it's flat and there is none of the grooves that you would uh, need to attach uh, roof rails. So unfortunately this car cannot be fitted with roof rails and therefore a roof box. So another question has been, does the car have vanity lights? No, it doesn't. So we've got the vanity mirrors here on both, both visors, both the passenger visor and the driver, but there are no lights. So we've been asked how do we deal with not having a rear wiper on this car. Um, we don't find it too bad. Sometimes, you know, if it's been a frosty morning and you want to de defrost the window or demist the window for that matter, um, it can still have um, some moisture on there that ideally you would wipe away with a rear wiper. But other than that, it's fine. Reversing in the rain, that could be uh, difficult, but you do have rear sensors as well. Next question, does the centre console get in the way of your knee? No, certainly not for me. I've never had an issue with it. It's quite roomy, I find. But then equally, I am five foot two. So whether that would be different for somebody bigger, somebody taller, possibly. But there's plenty of room in this space. So we've been asked about how this car looks in 
night or a night drive. So with the magic of editing, here it is. So here it is at night. I'm just going to open the car up and get a look at the lights on the outside. So you can see there, the uh, lights are on. And if we come round the back, a little look at the tail lights. And then we've got this quite interesting pattern here on the top. And then from the rear, this is how the car looks. We step inside the car now and we can see the screens that we have on this. Put the car into drive. We'll get this start up sequence here. Okay, and that is the dash. And then also in here, we do have two USB and we have a 12 volt as well. So hopefully that gives you an idea guys of what the car looks like at night. Also the steering wheel lights up and you can see there that the buttons light up there on the wheel. Does the car have wireless Apple CarPlay? No it doesn't. It does have Apple CarPlay but we use this wire and there are ports under here that you can pop that into. So, and it's quite easy. You just rest your phone on here. It all comes up on the full dash. It's quite a nice display really. Um, so no, no wireless Apple CarPlay, wired only. So we've been asked why did we choose the MG4 EV? Well, we chose it primarily because it was an EV. We wanted an EV. We think they're the future. Uh, we also chose the MG brand because we think it's making a resurgence and that we liked the brand. We like the way it's going. And also we chose this car because it felt like it was the right size for us. It's a uh, quite a large car internally spaced. Um, you know, it's got a fairly big boot. We, we liked the look of the car and it felt like the right fit for our family. The range was good, so the range is around 200 miles on a full charge, which is plenty for us on a, on a daily basis. So that's why we chose the MG4 EV standard range. So we've been asked about how to operate the uh, assistance systems on this car or some of the assistance systems on this car. So I'll show you the screen. Uh, if we go into the screen here and um, we'll hit the home menu, and then we'll go into the settings and then if we hit the car button down here you can turn off your driver assistance system so you can have cruise control speed limiter mode or off also you can turn uh, your lane assist off which is the what's going to steer for you if it feels the car's drifting out of lane you've got traffic sign recognition on there and front collision assist which i suggest that you don't turn off so we're going to leave it there for this video if you've got any other questions or comments perhaps Put them in the comments box below. We'll try and answer all of your questions. If you haven't subscribed yet, please subscribe to this video. It's going to help us bring you future content and help this channel grow. And we'll see you on the next one.